Welcome everybody to another SkySieve tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through how to build a custom report in PDF format using Structural 3D. So I've just loaded a simple structure here. I've loaded a uh, engine crate and I'm just going to run it through and solve this structure. Okay, so once solved, um, I have my analysis report button here. So I'll just click that and it will bring up a, sort of like a, a generator for our analysis report. So I'll just take you through the different sections of it. So uh, the first, this area is to what to include in the report. So it gives us a few options of um, how we can select and, and deselect some of the uh, areas that we can include in our report. So I have title page selected on. I have job setup, which is how the, build, the structure has been built, what nodes, members, uh, section properties. And I'll just run you through the third option, which is our single member reports. So I'll just check that on and you'll see that this opens up. Now what this allows for you to do is to build a custom page that represents each individual member. So you're actually individually analyzing each of the members, showing graphs, uh, showing the section properties, the minimax of the stresses. You can really customize the results that you want to produce. So it just saves you sort of going through all the numbers of a traditional analysis software. Uh, report and allows you to really focus in on individual members. Now for my engine crane um, I'm going to focus on member 8 which is that boom member and member 1 which is that lower member here um, which is undergoing a, a fair bit of stress that you'll see in a little bit. So what I can do is here I have a little input here and it's asking me what members to include. I could leave this empty which would individually analyze each of the members or I can focus on members one and eight just by doing one comma eight. So on my right, I might want to update or add some customize, like customize this part a little bit. So I can actually delete these widgets if I like. Um, by default, we have a two by, eight, a two by four uh, format, but you can actually change this just by dragging and dropping and moving everything around. But for the most part, I'm going to leave it as is because I like the way the information is presented and I'll just add some widgets. So, so to add a, add a widget, I just select this menu here and I'll add a result graph, which is basically just a single graph representing that result. And I'll change that to axial force. And I'll add another result graph here, just as axial stress. So there's really quite a lot of customizability you can do here. Um, I can add section properties, highlighting members, member summary table, result summary table. They're all on and they're all visible here. So I'll as I export the PDF, I'll be able to show you what that looks like. The next part I can include are user-defined screenshots. So these are screenshots that I've taken throughout my analysis. So I'll check this on and I just select which images I'd like to include. So I would maybe I want to focus on deflection, so I'll include the two deflection images and stress. So I've taken these screenshots throughout my analysis just by visiting output and then screenshot. And these are maybe some crucial uh, design parameters that I want to include in my report. Let's say I'm passing it to a colleague or a client and I want them to be able to instantly see what I mean when I'm saying that it's undergoing heavy deflection or heavy stress. The next two options are nodal results and mid-member results. So nodal results are any results that are occurring at, at the node of the start of an end of a member and mid-member results are any results that are occurring intermediate. So in, the, in each uh, increment along a member. So finally I'm ready to export and I'll just add my file name here as example report crane and I'll hit export PDF. So this is actually going to generate my report as I've specified. So just take a little second to load and I can see here at the bottom the status of my uh, report and I can see now it's complete and it's downloading. Okay, so here comes the report so it's just opened up for me. And we can see it starts with a nice title page. So just showing that full screen, you'll be able to see that uh, we have the type of analysis that's been run, uh, when the report was compiled. We've also got a screenshot of the structure so we can immediately identify what structure we're referring to, uh, file name, what software was used, and what was included in the report. Also, if you're in the enterprise account, you'll have your custom logo here, uh, which is really professional if you're handing this to a client or fellow engineers. So the second page would be the job setup. So this includes all the information that we've input into uh, the analysis. So we've got our node coordinates, uh, members, supports, section properties, point loads, and the bill of materials. So that just allows people to see exactly how the structure is set up. 
The next is the user-defined screenshots. So here we have the screenshots that we've chosen to include throughout our analysis. So we can see uh, these two diagrams both show the deflection of the structure. And I can see, you know, I can pass this on to, to anyone and they'll, they'll understand immediately that this is deflecting or deforming in this way um, by 83 millimetres at this end. Um, I've also included stresses. So again, if I'm passing this to a fellow engineer, I can tell them that, you know, this is, this is the member that I was concerned about. This is the member that's failing. I can see it's, it has bending stress of almost 900 megapascals. And the, and the other engineer or whoever you're giving this report to can immediately identify the areas of the design that are, uh, you know, really crucial. The next is a new function that we're really, really excited about. So this is the single member analysis function. So this actually breaks down the, the analysis into individual members. So I can see here we're focusing on member one. So we have member one in the structure, which was that, that member that was undergoing extreme bending stress. And I have, I'll just zoom in a little bit more so we can see. So now I have my member summary table, which I've included as a widget. Um, I can see the member, the member length, um, what it's made of, um, the fixities, and if there's any reactions at this point. Again, again, I can identify immediately which member I'm referring to. So it saves us going back and forth between the model photo and this. I can immediately see which one I'm looking at. Here we've got a stress uh, result table. So it's showing us all the stress concentrations um, and where they're occurring along the member. So I can see along this member, we have some real extreme bending stress of you know, 900 mega megapascals. And that's occurring 0.3 meter along the span, which is at the end point. So I can immediately identify where that stress is occurring. I've also got my section and material properties here, so I can see what section that's built of. Um, just really, really easy if I'm handing this off to someone else and they can see, you know, how, what dimensions uh, that structure, that, that member has been built from. I've also included uh, some graph results. So um, here I've got the bending moment, the shear forces, the Fels diagram. So you can include these. You can customise all this. Um, maybe I want to look... Uh, at the deflection in the X or something like that, I can, I can totally include that in my report. Uh, I've got local displacement and I've got axial force. So again, these are completely customizable. So if I go back into here and I wanna change that, let's go analysis report. And maybe I wanna change that, uh, one of these results to torsion stress, for instance. And then I just hit export, that'll update for me. Um, and that will now be a torsion stress graph. So if you have some really specific results that you need to focus on, this enables you to produce uh, a report in a matter of seconds that really suit your needs rather than fishing through uh, analysis reports. So some common applications is if you have to certify a, a structure and they require this sort of information of each individual member, this allows you to produce this in a clean, concise manner and get faster certification. So again, we've got the same sort of analysis. This is on that axial member here. I can see it's a circular member. I can see there's no bending or shear force, but I can see the axial force is up near 60 kilonewtons. Next are the direct results. So these are the results that occur at the nodes. Uh, and I can see the nodes here and the member forces that are occurring. And buckling analysis. And then finally we have our intermediate results, which are, are results across each of the members and uh, incremental uh, along each of the members. So here it allows you, uh, there's little asterisks and stars to denote, um, sorry, hashtags and stars to denote where the max and mins are, and I can easily identify them. So that's it for the report. So um, feel free to, to have a play with it yourself. Um, and we look forward to hearing your feedback, uh, any features you'd like to see um, added to the, the reporting um, and, and how useful you're finding it. Uh, we'd be happy to hear from you. So thanks again and happy reporting.